Good morning and welcome to our first episode of November. This is the 8th Watt TV show of the year. We are coming to you from Studio 22. I'm Allison. And I'm Gerald. And today we'll catch you up on some details about what's happening on and around campus. But first we need to start on a more somber note. Yesterday during our church service in Sutherland Springs, Texas, a shooter killed at least 26 people and wounded 20 more. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the victims and their families. This is obviously not the way we wanted to start a show, but we thought it was appropriate to address the topic. To transition us back to our own campus, we thought we would run another documentary from Chas and Megan. Check it out. <laughs> I've used a variety of pencil sharpeners around the campus, and I think I've discovered the one that's the best, but it's actually the, also the most underused. See, teachers have pencil sharpeners in all of their rooms, or for the most part, but I found one here in the library. This one works fantastically. Follow me. In my three and some odd years here at Wheaton Academy, I've never seen someone use this pencil sharpener. This isn't even my pencil, but I'm very confident that it's going to work. Now I have to use two hands. This is the pristine sharpness that you're looking for when you use a pencil sharpener. So, guys, come over to the library. This is the one in the corner that you've never seen anyone using it. That's what makes it so unique. Keep the ideas coming. We want to hear what you want to see. There will be a college athletics recruiting seminar for all athletes who are interested in pursuing college athletics on Thursday during lunch in Mr. Bowling's classroom, room 112. The seminar will provide an overview of our college athletics advising program as well as provide info to educate student athletes on the recruiting process and their role in this process. Please see Mr. Bowling for more details. We wanted to celebrate the artists who participated in Evening on the Classics last Monday evening. Here's a quick highlight of some of the acts. Ice cream and for the first time we were together with To watch full performances, check out the video on our YouTube channel. This is a reminder that you are not permitted to park on Wheaton Academy's campus unless you have purchased a parking permit and registered your car. Starting this week, any license plates that are not registered will be recorded and reported to the local police, so we have info on those unknown license plates. Make sure you are registered and have purchased a permit so that you do not receive a ticket. For our next segment, we wanted to give you a chance to learn about a staff member at Wheaton Academy that has a huge impact, but who works quietly behind the scenes. Gerald Blackman reports. Hi, I'm Gerald from YTV. This week we interviewed Mrs. Steele and asked her about her experience here. Check it out. Hello, my name is Heidi Thiel. I work here doing a lot of site supervision for the games, try to make things run smooth for Saturday rentals. Um, we rent out the whole field house just in charge of that 
and sometimes concessions. I love the kids here. Believe it or not, I feel bad when I have to kick you kids out of the gyms, but it's part of my job. So I feel bad doing it, but I have to do it. Um, one of the things I guess a lot of people don't know that I love to do, I love to pray. So a big thing I do is I pray for you kids a lot. I pray for the staff, teachers, coaches, um, when I'm roaming the halls, when I know games are going on. Just something I love to do that God has put on my heart. We also asked her about her children, and specifically her daughter Jenna, who attended here at Wheaton Academy. Here she tells us her testimony. So one thing with Jenna wanting to come here is um, my boys, like I said, went to Lake Park, and Jenna really, really, really wanted to come to Wheaton Academy since this is where I went. And being a single mom of three kids, we did not have any extra money. And I said, you know, if God wants you there, he'll provide a way. God has always provided, so we never went into debt or have to take out loans or anything for her to come here. And that's just the way it is in life, where God has always provided, and we're so thankful for that. So. Miss Steele, like many others, is a huge part of our walk community. Be sure to look for her at the basketball games this winter, and I'm personally thankful for what she does here at Wheaton Academy. Thank you. Keep an eye out for Mrs. Steele. Chances are you will find her if you really look. Take a moment and thank her for her service here at Wheaton Academy. Our last video will hopefully lift your spirits. This is a segment we hope to bring you on a regular basis as a way to celebrate our community. Here's Edward. Welcome to Wild Dancing Monday. From this week on, we are going to have dancing videos all day long. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Sunshine, she's here, you can take a break. I'm a hot air balloon that could go to space. With the air, like I don't care, baby, by the way. Sign, cosine, cosine, 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 sign, cosine. Follow us on Twitter at The Real Watt TV for information or to leave comments. We are always looking for new story ideas. Help us out by sharing your good ideas. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in to Watt TV and for all of us at Studio 22. Have a great day. <laughs>